Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of age. Amen. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. O heavenly King, comforter, the spirit of truth, ever present and filling all things, treasure of blessings and give our life, come and dwell on us, cleanse us from every impurity, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit us and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and bow down before Christ, our King and God. O come, let us worship and bow down before Christ himself, our King and our God. May the Lord hear you on the day of affliction. May he name the God of Jacob shield you. He send you up in your help from his sanctuary to aid out of Zion. May he remember all your sacrifices and fatten your whole burnt offerings. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill your every wish. He will rejoice in your deliverance and be magnified in the name of God. The Lord will grant all your requests. Now that the Lord has saved his anointed one, he will hear him in his holy heaven. His salvation of his right hand with great power. Some trust in chariots, others trust in horses. But we, but we will call upon the name of the Lord God, our Savior. He tripped and fell, but we arose and stood up. O Lord, save the King and hear us whenever we call upon you. O Lord, the King shall rejoice in your strength and greatly delight in your deliverance. You granted him his soul's desire. You did not deny the plea of his lips. You went out before him with your goodness's blessings. You set a crown of precious stone upon his head. He asked life of you, and you gave him length of days and ages of ages. Great is the glory of your salvation. You will give glory and majesty. For to you will grant him your blessings forever and ever. You will gladden him with the joy of your presence. For the King of hopes in the Lord, and the mercy of the Most High shall not waver. May your hand be found punishing all your enemies. Your right hand will find those who hate you. You will make them burn as in a blazing furnace, and they appear to them. In his wrath the Lord will confuse them utterly, and fire shall consume them. You will destroy their crops from the earth, and they shall seed among the sons of men. When they plotted evil against you, they devised plans that, you could, that they could not fulfill. For you will put them in the light, and their remnant we will punish. Be exalted, O Lord, in your power. With song and psaltery we praise your mighty deeds. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit us and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of age. Amen. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance. Grant victory to Orthodox Christians over their adversaries, and by your cross preserve your commonwealth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Christ God, who has voluntarily raised up the cross, be compassionate to your new commonwealth which bears your name. Gladden all Orthodox Christians by your power, granting them victory over their enemies, bestowing on them the invincible trophy, your weapon of peace, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Steadfast intercessor who cannot be put to confusion, most holy Theotokos, do not despise our prayers. Make firm the lives of Christians and save our God-loving people. Grant them victory from heaven, for you give birth to God, our only begotten Lady. Have mercy on us, O God, according, O God, in your great love and kindness, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our bishop, his grace, O Lady on, and for all our brotherhood in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for all our brethren and for all Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a good God and lover of mankind, and you we send up glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Glory to the holy, consubstantial, and life-giving, and undivided Trinity, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. O Lord, you will open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, you will open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, why are there so many that afflict me? Many are they who rise up against me. May they say to my soul, there is no salvation for him in God. But you, O Lord, are my helper, my glory, the one who lifts up my head. With my voice I cried to you, O Lord. He heard me from his holy mountain. As for me, I lay down and slept. I arose, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousand of men arraying against me and all around. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God. For you have stricken all who hate me without cause. You have shattered the sinner's teeth. Salvation is of the Lord, and your blessings upon your people. As for me, I lay down and slept. I arose, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, rebuke me not in your anger, neither chasten me in your wrath. For the arrows are stuck fast in me, and you have brought down your hand against me. There is no healing in my flesh because of your wrath. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my iniquities have risen higher than my head. They have weighed upon me like a heavy burden. My wounds are foul and festering, the face of my folly. I am exhausted and completely bent over. I went all the day with a downcast face. For my loins were filled with delusions, and now there is no healing in my flesh. I afflicted and humbled myself exceedingly. I roared from the groaning of my heart. O Lord, now all my desires are before you. My groaning is not hidden from you. My heart is troubled. My spirit has left me. Even the light of my eyes is not with me. My friends and my companions approached me and stood up against me. Those closest to me stood at a distance. 
Those who were after my soul pressed me. Those who wished ill spoke lies and plotted intrigues all day long. But I was like a deaf man and did not hear, and one mute who, op who opens not his mouth. I, I became like a man who cannot hear, who has no rebuttals in his mouth. For I hoped in you, O Lord. You will hear, O Lord my God. I said, let my enemies never gloat over me. For with my foot slipped, they rejoiced greatly against me. I am prepared for scourges. My anguish is before me always. For I shall confess my iniquity and tend to my sin. But my enemies are alive and stronger than I am. And those who hate me without cause are multiplied. Those who render me evil for good have slandered me because I pursued goodness. Forsake me not, O Lord, my God, depart not from me. Attend to me and help me, O Lord God of my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord, my God, depart not from me. Attend to me and help me, O God of my salvation. O God, my God, at dawn I rise to you, my soul thirsts for you. How your flesh longs for you, how it is desolate, trackless, and waterless land. Thus I would appear before you in sanctuary, so now to see your power and your glory. Your mercy is better than lives, therefore my lips will praise you. I will bless you in my life, in your name I will lift up my hands, lest my soul be filled with it, with suet and rich food, and joyful lips will praise your name. As I lay on my couch remembering you, through the early watches I meditated on you, for you had become my helper, I will exalt in the shelter of your wings. My soul clings to you, and your right hand has helped me. But they sought my life to no avail. They shall go out to the lower depths of the earth. They shall be given over the sword. They shall be, they shall be portions for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God. All who swear by him shall be praised. For the mouth of them that spoke unjustly has been stopped. Throughout my early watches I meditated on you, for you have become my helper. I will exalt in the shelter of your wings. My soul clings to you, and your right hand has helped me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, day and night I cry to you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my supplication. For my soul has filled with evil, and the life has come close to Hades. I have been counted with those who go down into the pit. I have become like a man with no help, free among the dead. I have become like the corpse of the slain that lie in the grave, whom you remember no longer, who were cut off from your hand. You, they laid me in a very deep pit, in dark places in the shadow of death. Anger came down hard on me, and you brought down on me all your turmoils. You stood my acquaintances afar off from me. They made me an abomination to themselves. I have delivered up and cannot escape. My eyes are weakened from poverty. I have cried to you all day long. O Lord, I stretched out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead? Or will physicians resuscitate them? They may give thanks to you. Will anyone recount your mercy in the grave and the truth in your perdition? Will your wonders be known in the darkness and your justice and a plot is forgotten? I too have cried out to you, O God, my plot is forgotten. I will preach my prayer at dawn. Why, Lord, will you reject my soul? Why will you turn your face from me? I am poor in my hardships from my youth. I was exalted and I was humble and become destitute. Your wrath went through me. Your terrors disturbed me. You encountered me as, a, as like water the whole day. They, they surrounded me all together. You, distract, you distanced me from my friends and my neighbors and my acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord, God of my salvation, day and night I cried out to you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my supplication. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and the as within me bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all the blessings that he renders you. 
For he is gracious about all your iniquities, he is the healer of all your infirmities, he is the redeemer of life from corruption, and his mercy and tender love toward a crown. He fulfills your desire for good things, and your youth like and your youth like them of an eagle be made new again. For all who have treated unjustly the Lord performs deeds of mercy and judgment. To Moses did he make known his ways to the sons of Israel, the things that he has will. The Lord is the compassionate and merciful, long-suffering and most merciful. He will not maintain his anger, nor he will keep his wrath forever. Not according to your iniquities will he deal with us, neither with his neither has he rewarded us according to our sins. For as great as the height of heaven, it is the earth. So the Lord has maintained his mercy at the same extent of those who go in fear of him. As far as the east is from the west, as far as he has removed our iniquities from us. As a, as a father has compassion upon his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who go out in fear of him. For he himself knows how we are formed, he remembered us that we are dust. As for a man like the grass are his days, like a flower in the field, so shall he blossom. So, for when the wind is passed over it, then it shall be gone, and no longer will it know the place thereof. But the mercy of the Lord is from before the ages of ages, for on him, and now to eternity, to those who go and fear of him, his justice is upon the sons of sons. On the ones he keeps his testament, who remember his commandments to perform them. The Lord is, is in heaven and has prepared his throne. His kingly rule has dominion over all things. Blessed is the Lord, all you as angels, who are powerful and in strength, performing his word, that you hear the sound of his words. Blessed be the Lord, all you his angelic hosts, his ministers perform his will. Blessed is the Lord and all his works and all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul, in places of all dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer, give ear to my supplication for your truth. Hearken unto me in your righteousness, and enter not into judgment with your servant. For before you no living thing will be justified. The enemy pursued my soul, he lowered my life to the ground. He set me in darkness like those long dead. My spirit became despotent within me. My heart was troubled within me. I remember the days of old. I meditated on all your deeds. I pondered the works of your hands. I have spread out my arms to you. My soul thirsts for you like a parched land. Quickly hear me, O Lord. My spirit has become faint. Turn not your face away from me, lest I become like those who go down into the pit. Let me hear your mercy in the morning, for I have hoped in you. Show me, Lord, the way which I should walk, for I have lifted my soul to you. Rescue me from my enemies, O Lord, for, it, for to you I have fled for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. And your good spirit will guide me on level ground. You will quicken me, O Lord, for your name's sake. In your righteousness will you bring my soul out of affliction, and in your mercy will exterminate my enemies. You will destroy all those who afflict thy soul, for I am your servant. Hear me, O Lord, in your righteousness, and attend to my judgment of your servant. Hear me, O Lord, in your righteousness, and enter not into judgment with your servant. Your good spirit will guide me on level ground. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. <clears throat> for the peace from above, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the good estate of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house, and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For... His, our, for his grace, our bishop, Elidion, and for the honorable presbyter, for the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. 
Indeed. For God, loving and God protected country, Canada's government, armed forces, and for all the pious people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city and for every city, village, and country, and for the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For a favor, weather, and abundance of the fruits of the earth for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For those who travel by sea, land, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the imprisoned, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us command ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For to you are to all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of age. Amen. <clears throat> alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. When the glorious disciples were enlightened by the washing of the feet, then Judas the ungodly was stricken and darkened with the love of money. And to a lawless judge he delivered you, O lover of money who look upon him who for its sake hanged himself. Flee from the insatiable soul which dare trust things against the teacher. O you who are good, O Lord, O glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When glorious disciples were enlightened in the washing of the feet, then Judas the ungodly were stricken and darkened with the love of money. To a lawless judge he delivered you, the lawless judge. O lover of money, look upon him for its sake who hanged himself. Flee from the insatiable soul which dared such things against the teacher. For you are good to O Lord, glory to you, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. When the glorious disciples were enlightened in the washing of the feet, then Judas the ungodly was stricken and darkened with the love of money. And to the lawless judge delivered you, the lawless judge. O lover of money, look upon him who for its sake hanged himself. Flee from the insatiable soul which dared such things against the teacher. O oh, you who are good and to all Lord, glory to you. Again and again in peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, and mercy and us and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance your most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ, our God. To you, O Lord. For yours is the majesty and yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory of the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of age. Amen. And that he would count us worthy to listen to the Holy Gospel. Let us pray to the Lord our God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom stand aright, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. 
Peace be unto all. And to your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to the Evangelist John. Glory to your passion, O Lord. Glory to you. Let us be attentive. The Lord said to his disciples, Now the Son of Man glorified, and in him God is glorified. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself and glorify him at once. Little children, yet a little while I am with you. You will seek me, and as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where am I going? You can, where I'm going, you cannot come. A new commandment I will give to you, that you love one another even as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this all men will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Simon Peter said to Jesus, Lord, where are you going? Jesus answered, where I am going, you cannot follow me now but you shall follow afterward. Peter said to him, Lord, why can I not? Why, can I, why cannot I follow you now? I will lay down my life for your sake. Jesus answered, will you lay down your life for my sake? Truly, truly, I say to you, the, the cock will crow, the cock will not crow till you have denied me three times. Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And when I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, that where I am you will be also, and where I am going you know, and the way you know, Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. If you had known me, you would not have known my Father also. Henceforth you know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and we shall be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long, and yet you do not know me, Philip? He who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I say to you I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does the works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me or else believe me for the sake of the works themselves. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and greater works than these will he do, because I go to my Father. Whatever you ask in my name, I will do, I will do it, that my Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he will give you another counselor to be with you forever, even the Spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you desolate. I will come to you yet a little while, and the wor world will see me no more but you will see me, because I live, you will live also. In that day you, told, you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. He who is my commandments and keeps them, he it is who loves me, and he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. Judas, not Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it that you will manifest yourself to us and not to the world. Jesus answered him, If a man loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. He who does not love me does not keep 
my words, and the word which you hear is not mine, but the Father's who sent me. These things I have spoken to you while I am still with you, but the Counselor, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to you remembrance all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You heard me say to you, I go away and I will come to you. If you love me, you would have rejoiced because I go to the Father, for my Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it takes place, so that when it does take place you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no power over me, but I do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. Rise, let us go hands. I am the true vine, and the Father is the vine dresser. Every branch of mine that bears fruit bears no fruit, he takes away, and every branch that does bear fruit he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. You are already made clean by the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me you can do nothing. If a man does not abide in me, he is cast forth as a branch and withers. And... The branches are gathered, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ask whatever you will, and it shall be done for you. By this, my Father is glorified that you bear much fruit, and so prove to be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love, for you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abided in his love, these things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I commanded you, no longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends, for all that I have heard my, from my Father I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you, that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should abide, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. This I command you to love one another. If the world hates you, know that it has hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love its own. But because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the word that I said to you, a servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you. If they kept my word, they will keep yours also. But all this they will do, they will do to you for my name's sake, because they do not know him who sent me. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would not have sinned. But now they have no excuse for their sin. He who hates me ha hates my father also. If I had not done among them the works which no one else did, they would not have sinned. But now they have seen and hated both me and my father. It is to fulfill the word that is written in their law. They hated me without a cause. But when the counselor comes, whom I shall send to you from the father, even the spirit of truth, who proceeds from the father, he will bear witness to me. And you also are witnesses because you have, no, because you have been with me from the beginning. I have said all this to you to keep you from falling away. They will put you out of the synagogues. 
Indeed, the hour is coming when whoever kills you will think he is offering service to God. And they will do this because they have not known the Father nor me. But I have said these things to you that when their hour comes, you may remember that I told you of them. I did not say these things to you from the beginning because I was with you. But now I am going to him who sent me. Yet none of you asks me, where are you going? But because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your hearts. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the counselor will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world concerning sin and righteousness and judgment concerning sin because they do not believe in me, concerning righteousness because I go to the Father and you will see me no more, concerning judgment because the ruler of this world is judged. I have yet many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you in to all the truth, for he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me, for he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine, therefore I say that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. A little while, and you will see me no more again. A little while, and you will see me, because I go to the Father. Some of his disciples said to one another, What is this? that he says to us a little while and you will not see me and again a little while and you will see me and because I go to the Father they said what does he mean by a little while we do not know what he means Jesus knew that they wanted to ask him so he said to them this, is this what you are asking yourselves what I meant by saying a little while and you will not see me and I get a little while and you will see me. Truly, truly, I say to you, you will weep and lament, but the world will rejoice. You will be sorrowful, but your sorrow will turn into joy. When a woman is in travail, she has sorrow because her hour has come. But when she is delivered of the child, she no longer remembers her anguish for joy that a child is born into the world. So you have sorrow now, but I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy from you. In that day you will ask nothing of me. Truly, truly, I say to you, if you ask anything of the Father, he will give it to you in my name. Hitherto you have asked nothing in my name. Ask, and you will receive, that your joy may be full. I have said to you in figures, the hour is coming when I shall no longer speak to you in figures, but show you, but show you plainly of the Father. In that day you will ask in my name, and I do not say to you that I shall pray for the Father for you, for the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me and have believed that I came from God. I came from the Father and have come into the world again. I'm leaving the world and going to the Father. His disciples said, Ah, now you are speaking plainly, not in any figure. Now we know what you know in all things and need none to question you. By this we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you now believe? The hour is coming, indeed it, is, it has come, when you will be scattered every man to his own and will leave me alone, yet I am not alone, for the Father is with me. I have said this to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. When Jesus had spoken these words, he lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify thy Son, that thy Son may glorify thee, since thou hast given him power over all flesh, to give eternal life, to all whom thou hast given him, and this is eternal life, that they know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. 
I glorify thee on earth, having accomplished the work which thou gavest me to do. And now, Father, glorify thou me with thy own self, with the glory which I had with these before the world was. I have manifested thy name to thy, the men whom thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them to me, and they have kept thy word. Now they know that everything that it, thou hast given me is fr from thee, for I have given them the words which thou gavest me, and they ga have received them, and know in truth that I came from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. I am praying for them. I am not praying for the world, but for those whom thou hast given me, for they are thine, all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And now I am, I am no more in the world, but they are in the world. And I am coming to thee, Holy Father, keep them in thy name, which thou hast given me, that they may be one, even as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in my, thy name, which thou hast given me. I have guarded them, and none of them is lost but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, and the world has, sh has hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I do not pray that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil one. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them in the truth. Thy word is, the, is truth. As thou didst send me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. And for their sake I sanctify myself, that they also may be sanctified in truth. I do not pray for these only, but also for those who believe in me through their word, that they may all be one, even as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, so that the world may believe that thou hast sent me the glory which thou hast given me. I have given to them that they may be one, even as we are one, I in them and thou in me, that they may become perfectly one, so that the world may know that thou hast sent me, and hast loved them even as thou hast loved me. Father, I desire that they also, whom thou hast given me, may be with me where I am, to behold my glory which thou hast given me. For thou loved me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, the world has not known thee, but I have known thee, and these know that thou hast sent me. I made known to them thy name, and I will make it known that the love with which thou hast loved me may be in them, and I in them. When Jesus had spoken these words, he went forth with his disciples across the Kidron Valley, where there was a garden which he and his disciples entered. Glory to your long-suffering, Lord. Glory to you. Rulers of the people were gathered together against the Lord and against his Christ. They laid a lawless charge against me, Lord, do not abandon me. Let us bring our sins to pure Christ and his sacrifice for our souls. And let us not, like Judas, be suffocated by the cares of life. But our inner chamber let us cry, Our Father in heaven, deliver us from the evil one. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. A virgin you gave birth, O unwedded, and as a virgin you remain mother without bridegroom. Mary, Mother of God, 
Implore Christ our God that we may be saved, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Virgin, you gave birth, O unwedded, and as Virgin you remain Mother without Bridegroom. Mary, Mother of God, implore Christ our God that he may be saved. Judas rang, saying to the lawly scribes, What are you willing to give me that I hand him over to you? As they came to their agreement, you, the object of their agreement, were standing among them, invisibly agreeing. For you know the heart and spare our souls. Let us serve God with mercy, like Mary at the supper, and let us not acquire avarice like Judas, that we may ever be with Christ our God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Never, inter never cease to intercede, O Virgin, with whom you gave birth beyond explanation, for he loves humankind, that he saves us from dangers, those who have no recourse to you. Because of raising Lazarus, O oh Lord, who love humankind, the, the children of the Hebrews cried out to you, Hosanna. But Judas the transgressor did not want to understand. At your supper, Christ God, you foretold the disciples, one of you will betray me. But Judas the transgressor did not want to understand. To John, when he asked you, which of you, who is that that will betray you? He indicated him through the bread. But Judas the transgressor did not want to understand. For thirty pieces of silver, Lord, and a deceitful kiss, the Jews sought to slay you, but Judas the transgressor did not want to understand. At your washing of the feet, Christ our God, you instructed your disciples, as you have seen, so do, but Judas the transgressor did not want to understand. Watch and pray that you may not be tested. You said your disciples, O oh our God. But Judas the transgressor did not want to understand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Save your service from danger, Mother of God. For after God will take refuge in you as the unbreachable wall and protection both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance your most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us Commend ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ that we're called. To you, o Lord. For to you are to all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. At the supper, the nourished disciples, knowing the plan of betrayal, you exposed Judas' jewelry. You knew he was incorrigible, but, but you wished to make it known that you were handed over willingly, that you might snatch the world from the stranger. Long suffering, Lord, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. 
At your supper you nurse the disciples, knowing the plan of betrayal. You exposed Judas during it. You knew he was incorrigible, but you wished to make it known that you were being handed over willingly, that you might snatch the world from the stranger. Long-suffering Lord, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. And that he would count us worthy to listen to the Holy Gospel. Let us pray to the Lord our God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom stand aright, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And to your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to the Evangelist John. Glory to your passion, O Lord. Glory to you. Let us be attentive. At that time Jesus went forth with his disciples across the Kidron Valley, where there was a garden which he and his disciples entered. Now Judas, who betrayed him, also knew the place, for Jesus often met there with his disciples. So Judas, procuring a band of soldiers and some officers from the chief priests and the Pharisees, went there with lanterns and, t lanterns and torches and weapons. Then Jesus, knowing all that was to befall him, came forward and said to them, Whom do you seek? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said to them, I am he. Judas, who betrayed him, was standing with them. When Jesus said to them, I am he, they drew back and fell to the ground. Again Jesus asked them, Whom do you seek? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus answered, I told you that I am he. So if you seek me, let these men go. This was to fulfill the word which, ha which he had spoken. Of those whom thou gavest me, I lost not one. Then Simon Peter, having a sword, drew it and struck the high priest's servant and cut off his right ear. The servant's name was Malichus. Jesus said to Peter, Put your sword in its sheath. Shall I not? Drink the cup which the Father has given me. So the band of soldiers and their captain and the officers of the Jews seized Jesus and bound him. First they led him to Aeneas, for he was the father-in-law of Caiaphas, who was the high priest that year. It was Caiaphas who had given counsel to, Jesus, to the Jews that it was expected that one man should die for the people. Simon Peter followed Jesus, and so did another disciple. As this disciple was known to the high priest, he entered the court of the high priest along with Jesus, while Peter stood outside the door. So the other disciple who was known to the high priest went out and spoke to the maid who kept the door and brought Peter in. The maid who kept the door said to Peter, Are not you also one of this man's disciples? Peter said, I am not. Now the servants and officers had made a charcoal fire because it was cold, and they were warming themselves. Peter also was with them, standing and warming himself. The high priest then questioned Jesus about his disciples and his teachings. Jesus answered him, I have spoken openly to the world. I have always taught in the synagogue and in the temple, where all Jews come together. I have said nothing secretly. Why do you ask me? Ask those who have heard me what I said to them. They know what I said. When Jesus had said this, one of the officers standing by struck him with his hand, saying, 
This is how you answer the high priest. Jesus answered him, If I have spoken wrongly, bear witness to the wrong. But if I have spoken rightly, why do you strike me? Aeneas then sent him bound to Caiaphas, the high priest. Now Simon Peter was standing and warming himself. They said to him, Are you not also one of the disciples? He denied it and said, I am not. One of the servants of the high priest, a kinsman of the man whose ear Peter had cut off, asked, Did I not see you in the garden with him? Peter again denied it, and at once the cock crowed. Then they led Jesus from Caiaphas to the praetorium. It was early. They themselves did not enter the praetorium, so that it might not be, so they might not be defiled, but might eat the Passover. Glory to your long suffering, Lord. Glory to you. Today Judas abandons the teacher and takes up with the devil. He is blinded by the passion of reverence. He falls darkened from the light. How could the one who sold the lamb for thirty pieces of silver see? But the one who suffered for the world has done for us. To him let us cry who suffered for humankind. Glory to you. Today Judas feigns godliness and the estranged from the gift of grace. Through a disciple he became a traitor. In the guise of friendship he conceals his deceit and insanely values thirty pieces of silver. More than the love of the master, becoming the guide and the lawless sanderin. But we who love Christ the salvation, let us glorify him. Let us, brothers in Christ, gain brotherly love. Let us not lack the compassion for our neighbor, lest we be condemned like the merciful slave becomes an new pence, and repenting like Judas gain nothing. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glorious things have been spoken by you in every place, because you bore the flesh of the Maker in all things. Mary, Mother of God, all praise and unwedded, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The teacher's disciple agreed the price and sold the Lord for thirty pieces of silver, and with a deceitful hands handed him over, to his death of transgressions. Today the creator of heaven and earth said to his own disciple, The hour has drawn near, and Judas who betrays me is at hand. Let none deny me when they see me on the cross. Between two thieves, for I suffer as lover of mankind, and save those who believe in me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Virgin, who in the last times ineffably conceived and gave birth to your own Creator, save those who magnify you, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Virgin, who in the last time ineffably conceived and gave birth to your own Creator. Save those who magnify you. Today Judas watches the betrayal of the Lord, the Savior of the world before the ages, who satisfied multitude from five loaves. Today the transgressor denies the teacher, Though a disciple he betrayed the master, for silver he sold the one who satisfied humankind with manna. 
Today the jewels nail the cross of the Lord who parted the sea and staff and led them through the desert. Today with a lance they pierce the side of the one who scourged Egypt with plagues for their sake. And gave vinegar as drink to the one who rained down manna as nourishment. Lord, you who came to your voluntary passion, you cried to your disciples, if you did not will to have the strength to keep vigil for one hour, how did you promise to die for me? Do you see how Judas does not sleep but hurries to betray me to the transgressors? Rouse yourselves, pray, let none deny me when they see me on the cross. Long-suffering, Lord, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Hail, Mother of God, who contained in the womb the one who the heavens cannot contain. Hail, Virgin, the proclamation of the prophets, through whom Emmanuel has shown for us. Hail, Mother of Christ our God both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> Hail, Mother. Hail, Mother of God, who contained the womb of the one who the heavens cannot contain. Hail, Virgin, the proclamation of the prophets, through whom Emmanuel has shown for us. Hail, Mother of Christ, our God both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For blessed and glorified is your most honorable and majestic name of the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of age. Amen. <clears throat> Was it not Jesus who made you the betrayer of the Savior? Did he separate from you from the choir of the apostles? Did he deprive you of the gift of healing? When he supped with them, did he thrust you from the table? When he washed the other's feet, did he despise yours? Oh, of how many good things have you become forgetful? Your ungrateful intent is condemned, while he measures long suffering is proclaimed for his great mercy. What is it, Judas, who made you the betrayer of the Savior? Did he separate you from the choir of the apostles? Did he deprive you of the gift of healing? When he supped with them, did he thrust you from the table? When he washed his others' feet, did he despise yours? Oh, of how many things you have become forgetful! Your ungrateful intent is condemned, while his measureless long-suffering is proclaimed of his great mercy. <clears throat> and that he would count us worthy to listen to the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom stand aright, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And to your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to the evangelist Matthew. Glory to your passion, Lord, glory to you. 
Let us be attentive at that time the soldier seized Jesus and led him to Caiaphas, the high priest, where the scribes and the elders had gathered, but Peter following him in a distance, as far as the courtyard of the high priest, and going inside, he sat with the guards to see the end. Now the chief priests and the whole council sought false testimony against Jesus, that they might put him to death. But they found none, though many false witnesses came forward. At last two came forward and said, This fellow said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and to build it in three days. And the high priest stood up and said, Have you no answer to me? What is it that these men testify against you? But Jesus was silent, and the high priest said to him, I adjure you by the living God, tell us if you are the Christ, the Son of God. Jesus said to him, You have said so, but I tell you, hereafter you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of the power and coming on the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his robes and said, He has uttered blasphemy. Why do we still need witnesses? You have now heard this blasphemy. What is your judgment? They answered, He deserves death. Then they spat in his face and struck him, and some slapped him, saying, Prophecy to us, you Christ, who is it that struck you? Now Peter was sitting outside the courtyard, and a ma maid came up to him and said, You also were with Jesus the Galilean. But he denied it before them all, saying, I do not know what you mean. And when he went out to the porch, another maid saw him, and she said to the bystanders, This man was with Jesus of Nazareth. And again Peter denied it with an oath, I do not know the man. After a little while, the bystanders came up and said to Peter, Certainly you are also one of them, for your accent betrays you. Then Peter began to invoke a curse on himself and to swear, I do not know the man. And immediately the cock crowed, and Peter remembered the saying of Jesus, Before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. And Peter went out and wept bitterly. Glory to your long-suffering, Lord. Glory to you. Bearing with the transgressors who arrested you, Lord, you cry through, you strike the shepherd and scatter the twelve sheep. I could have summoned to my side more than twelve legions of angels, but I endure that the hidden and secret things which I showed through my prophets may be fulfilled. Lord, glory to you. When he had denied you a third time, Peter at once understood what had been said to him, that he brought you to tears of repentance. O God, be merciful to me and save me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let us praise the Holy Virgin as gate of salvation, paradise of delight and cloud of everlasting light, as we say to her, Hail. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let us praise the Holy Virgin as gate of salvation, paradise of delight and cloud of everlasting light, as we say to her, Hail, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Speak, transgressors, what did you hear from our Savior? Did he not expound the law with the teachings of the prophets? How then could we have taken counsel and hand over Pilate the word? God, the, God from God, the Redeemer of our souls. 
Let him be crucified, they cried, those who ever enjoyed your gifts of grace. And instead of a benefactor, the murderers of the just asked to receive a malefactor. But, O Christ, you are silent, bearing their impudence, as you will to suffer and save us, for you love mankind. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Because we have seen no boldness on account of our sins, entreat the one that was born of you, Virgin Mother of God. For the prayers of a mother have great forces on the kindness of the Vassar. Do not despise the supplications of sinners, O holy, because he is merciful and able to save. He who even accepted to suffer for us. Because we have no boldness because of our many sins, entreat the one born of you, Virgin Mother of God. For the prayers of a mother have great force on the kindness of the master. Do not despise the supplications of sinners, O holy, but because he is merciful and able to save, he who even accepted to suffer for us, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. They paid thirty pieces of silver as a price to him who was valued, on whom some of the sons of Israel had set a price. Watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation, but the spirit is willing, the flesh is weak, therefore watch. They gave me gall, and for my food they, they gave me vinegar to drink. But you, O Lord, raise me up, and I shall repay them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From the nations sing your praise, pure Mother of God, because you gave birth to Christ our God, who through you freed humanity from the curse, both now and ever, unto the ages of ages. Amen. From the nations sing your praise, pure Mother of God, because you gave birth to Christ our God, who through you freed humankind from the curse, both now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Again and again in peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious city, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are a good God and love. And to you we ascribe glory to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of age. Amen. How could Judas, once your disciple, meditate betrayal against you? Treacherous and unjust, deceitful, he supped with you. He went and said to the priest, What will you give me? And I will hand over the man who breaks the law and violates the Sabbath. Long-suffering Lord, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. How could Judas, once your disciple, meditate betrayal against you? Treacherous and unjust, deceitfully he sobbed with you. He went and said to the high priest, What will you give me? And I will hand over the man who breaks the law and violates the Sabbath. Long-suffering, Lord, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit both now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Uh. 
and that he would count us worthy to listen to the Holy Gospel. Let us pray to the Lord God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom stand aright, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And to your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to the Evangelist John. Glory to your passion, Lord. Glory to you. Ah, let us be attentive at that time. They led Jesus from Caiaphas to the Praetorium. It was early. They themselves did not enter the Praetorium so that they might not be defiled but might eat the Passover. So Pilate went out to them and said, What accusation do you bring against this man? They answered him, If this man were not an evildoer, we would not have handed him over. Pilate said to them, Take him yourselves and judge him by your own law. The Jews said to him, It is not lawful for us to put any man to death. This was to fulfill the word which Jesus had spoken to show by what death he was to die. Pilate entered the praetorium again and called Jesus and said to him, Are you the king of the Jews? <coughs> Jesus answered, Do you say this of your own accord? Or did others say it to you about me? Pilate answered, I, Am I a Jew? Your own nation and the chief priests have handed you over to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my servants would fight that I might not be handed over to the Jews. But my kingdom is not of the world. Pilate said to him, So you are a king. Jesus answered, You say that I am a king. For this I was born, and for this I have come into the world, to bear witness to the truth. Everyone who is of the truth hears my voice. Pilate said to him, What is true? After Pilate had said this, he went out to the Jews again and told them, I find no crime in him, but you have a custom that I should release one man for you at the Passover. Will you have me release for you the king of the Jews? They cried out again, Not this man, but Barabbas. Now Barabbas was a robber. Then Pilate took Jesus and scourged him, and the soldiers plaited a crown of thorns and put it on his head, and arrayed him in a purple robe. They came up to him, saying, Hail, king of the Jews, and struck him with their hands. Pilate went out again, and said to them, See, I am bringing him out to you, that you may know that I find no crime in him. So Jesus came out wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe. Pilate said to them, Behold the man. When the chief priests and the officers saw him, they cried out, Crucify him, crucify him. Pilate said to them, Take him yourselves and crucify him, for I find no crime in him. The Jews answered him, We have a law, and by our law he ought to die, because he has made himself the Son of God. When Pilate heard these words, he was more afraid. He entered the praetorium again and said to Jesus, Where are you from? But Jesus gave no answer. Pilate therefore said to him, You will not speak to me. Do you not know that I have power to crucify you? and power to release you. Jesus answered him, You would have no power over me unless it had been given to you from above. Therefore he who delivered me to you has the greater sin. Upon this Pilate sought to release him, but the Jews cried out, If you release this man, you are not Caesar's friend. Everyone who makes himself a king speaks against Caesar. When Pilate heard these words, he brought Jesus out and sat down on the judgment seat at a place called the pavement, and in Hebrew, Gabbatha. Now it was the day of preparation of the Passover. It was about the sixth hour.
Pilate said to the Jews, Behold your king. They cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate said to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king but Caesar. Then he handed Jesus over to them to be crucified. Glory to your long-suffering, Lord. Glory to you. He who wraps himself in light is a garment, stands naked for judgment. He accepts a blow in the cheek by the hands of those he fashioned. While the lowest people nail to the cross the Lord of glory, then the veil of the temple was rent. The sun grew dark, unable to endure, seeing God before whom all things tremble, being outraged. Him let us worship. The disciple denied, then the thief cried, Remember me, O Lord, in your kingdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Give peace to the world, O Lord, who accepted to put on flesh from a virgin for the sake of your servant, that with one accord we may glorify you, only lover of humankind. In return to your good things which you have done for the Hebrew race, O Christ, they condemn you to be crucified, giving you vinegar and gold to drink. But repay them, Lord, in accordance of their works, because they do not understand your condescension. The Hebrew race was not content to your betrayal, O Christ, but they wag their hats, bringing scoffing and derision. But repay them, Lord, in accordance with their works, because they meditated vain things against you. Neither the quaking of the earth, nor the splitting of the rocks, nor the rending of the veil of the temple, nor the resurrection of the dead pursued the Jews. But render unto them, O Lord, according to their works, for they have devised vain things against you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We know that a God took flesh from you, Virgin Mother of God, alone, pure, alone, blessed. And so we praise you without ceasing. We magnify you. We know that the God took flesh from you, Virgin Mother of God, alone, pure, alone, blessed. And so we praise you without ceasing that we may magnify you, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. O oh, thus said the Lord to the Jews, My people, what have I done to you? Or in what have I wearied you? I gave light to your blind, I cleansed your lepers. I set upright a man lying on a bed. My people, what have I done to you, and how you have repaid me? Instead of the man of gold, instead of the water vinegar, instead of loving me, you have nailed me to a cross. I can endure no longer, I will cry to my nations. And they will glorify me with the Father and the Spirit, and I shall grant to them eternal life. Today the veil of the temple is rent as a reproof for the transgressors. The sun hides its own rays as it sees its master crucified. Law, the givers of Israel, Jews and Pharisees, the choir of the apostles cries out to you, see a temple which you have destroyed. 
See a lamb that you have crucified. You hanged him over the tomb, but his own authority he has risen. Do not be deceived, O Jews, for you have saved you in the sea. He fed you in the desert. He is the life of the light and the peace of the world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Hail, gate, the King of glory, through the Most High alone has passed, and is lifted sealed again for the salvation of our soul. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Hail, gate, the King of glory, through which the Most High alone has passed, and left it sealed again for the salvation of our souls. Again and again in peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance your most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious city, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Blessed and glorified is the power of your kingdom of the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of age. Of. Amen. When you stood before Caiaphas, O God, you were handed over to Pilate, O Judge. The powers of heaven were shaken from fear. But when you were raised up on the tree between two thieves and were numbered with transgressors, O sinless one, Save mankind, long-suffering, Lord, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. When you stood before Caiaphas, O God, you were handed over to Pilate, O Judge. The powers of heaven were shaken with fear. But when you raised up on the tree between two thieves and were numbered with transgressors, O sinless one to save mankind, long-suffering Lord, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. And that he would count us worthy to listen to the Holy Gospel. Let us pray to the Lord God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Wisdom, stand aright. Let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And to your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to the evangelist Matthew. Glory to your passion, O Lord, glory to you. Let us be attentive at that time when Judas, his betrayer, saw that Jesus was condemned. He felt regret and brought back the thirty pieces of silver to the chief priests and the elders, saying, I have sinned and betrayed innocent blood. They said, What is that to us? See, it to, see to it yourself. And throwing down the pieces of silver in the temple, he departed, and he went and hanged himself. But the chief priest, taking the pieces of silver, said, It is not lawful to put them into the treasury, since they are blood money. So they took counsel and bought with them the potter's field to bury strangers in. Therefore they, that field has been called the field of blood to this day. Then was fulfilled what had been spoken by the prophet Jeremiah, saying, And they took the thirty pieces of silver, the price of him who was valued, who was valued by the sons of Israel, 
and they gave him for the gave them for the potter's field as the Lord directed me now Jesus stood before the governor and the governor asked him are you the king of the Jews Jesus said you have said so but when he was accused by the chief priests and the elders he made no answer then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many things they testify against you? But Jesus gave him no answer, not even a single charge, so that the governor wandered greatly. Now at the feast, the governor was accustomed to release for the crowd any one prisoner whom they wanted. And they had then a notorious prisoner called Barabbas, so when they had gathered, Pilate said to them, Who do you want me to release for you, Barabbas or Jesus, who is called Christ? For he knew that it was out of envy that they had delivered him up. Besides, while he was sitting on the judgment seat, his wife sent word to him, Have nothing to do with that righteous man, for I have suffered much over him today in a dream. Now the chief priests and elders persuaded the people to ask for Barabbas and destroy Jesus. The governor again said to them, Which of the two do you want me to, to release for you? And they said, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, Then what shall I do with Jesus who is called Christ? They all said, Let him be crucified. And Pilate said, Why, what evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Let him be crucified. So when Pilate saw that he was gaining nothing, but rather that a riot was beginning, he took water and washed his hands before the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this righteous man's blood. See to it yourselves. And all the people answered, His blood be on us and our children. Then Pilate released for them Barabbas, and having scourged, Jesus delivered him to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the praetorium, and they gathered the whole battalion before him, and they stripped him and put a scarlet robe upon him, and plating a crown of thorns, they put it on his head, but a reed in his right hand. And kneeling before him, they mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! And they spat upon him and took a reed and struck him on the head. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the robe and put on his own clothes on him and led him away to crucify him. As they went out, they came upon the man of Cyrene, Simon by name. This man they compelled to carry the cross of Jesus. Glory to your long-suffering, Lord, glory to you. The assembly of the Jews asked Pilate for you to be crucified. O Lord, having found no guilt in you, they freed the guilty Barabbas and condemned you, the just. So incurring the guilt of murder, but give them their reward, Lord, for they meditated vain things against you. Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God, before whom all things quake and tremble, whom every tongue praises, the priests stuck their face against him and gave him gold. He accepted to suffer all things, as he wished to save us from our iniquities by his own blood, for he loves humankind. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Mother of God, who through a word beyond reason gave birth to your Creator, implore him to save our souls, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Mother of God, through who a word beyond reason gave birth to your own Creator, implore him to save our souls. 
Lord, you took the thief whose hands were defiled with blood as a companion for the journey. Number us too with him as you are good and love humankind. The thief on the cross uttered few words but found great faith. He was saved in one instant, having opened the gates of paradise. Lord, who accept his repentance, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Hail you, who have received the joy of the world through an angel. Hail you, who gave birth to the Maker and Lord. Hail, who are found worthy to become the mother of Christ our God, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Hail, you who have received the joy in the world through an angel. Hail, you gave birth to the maker of the Lord. Hail, who are found worthy to become the mother of Christ our God. Today you hung upon the earth, it's hung upon a tree. Today he who hung upon the earth enters the waters is hung upon a tree. Today who hung on earth upon the waters is hung upon a tree. He who Christ the angels has arranged a crown of thorns. He who wraps the heaven in clouds is wrapped in mocking purple. He who freed Adam from the Jordan receives a blow on the face. The bridegroom of the church transfixed with nails. The son of the virgin is pierced by a lance. We worship your sufferings, O Christ. We worship your sufferings, O Christ. We worship your sufferings, O Christ. Show us to your glorious resurrection. Let us not feast like the Jews, for our Passover has been sacrificed for us, Christ God. But let us purify ourselves with all defilement and seriously, sincerely beseech him. Arise, Lord, save us as you love humankind. Your cross, O Lord, is life and resurrection for your people, and putting your trust in it, we praise your crucified God, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When she who bore you saw you hanging on the cross, O Christ, she cried out, What is this strange mystery that I see, my son? How are you dying on a tree? Nail in the flesh, O giver of life both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. When she bore you, she saw you hanging on the cross, O Christ. She cried out, What is this strange mystery that I see, my son? How are you dying on a tree nailed in the flesh, O giver of life? Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious city, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For blessed is your name. And glorified is your kingdom in the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. By your precious blood you have redeemed us from the curse of the law. Nailed to the cross and pierced by a lance, you have become a source of, immor of immorality for humankind. O Savior, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. By your precious blood you have redeemed us from the curse of the law, nailed to the cross and pierced by a lance. You have become a source of immortality for humankind. 
O Savior, glory to you. By your precious blood you have redeemed us from the curse of the law, nailed to the cross and pierced by our lands. You have become a source of immortality for humankind. O Savior, glory to you. By your precious blood you have redeemed us from the curse of the law, nailed to the cross and pierced by a lance. You have become a source of immortality for humankind. O Savior, glory to you. And that he would count us worthy to listen to the Holy Gospel. Let us pray to the Lord God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom stand upright, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And to your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to the evangelist Mark. Glory to your passion, Lord. Glory to you. Let us be attentive. At that time the soldiers led Jesus away inside the palace, that is the praetorium, and they called together the whole battalion, and they clothed him, with in a purple cloak and plating a crown of thorns they put on it on him and they began to salute him hail king of the jews and they struck his head with a reed and spat upon him and they knelt down in homage to him and when they had mocked him they stripped him of the purple cloak and put his own clothes on him and they led him out to crucify him and they compelled a passerby, Simon of Cyrene, who was coming in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry the cross of Jesus. And they brought Jesus to the place called Gagatha, which means the place of a skull. And they offered him wine mingled with myrrh, but he did not take it. And they crucified him and divided his garments among them, casting lots for them to decide what each should take. And it was the third hour when they crucified him, and the inscription on, of the charge against him read, The King of the Jews. And with him they crucified two robbers, one on his right and one on his left. And the scripture was fulfilled, which says, He was reckoned with the transgressors, and those who passed by derided him, wagging their heads, saying, Aha, you who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself and come down from the cross. So also the chief priests mocked him to one another with the scribes, saying, He saved others, he cannot save himself. Let the Christ, the King of Israel, come down now from the cross, that we may see and believe Glory to your long suffering, Lord. Glory to you. In your kingdom, remember us, O Lord. When you come in your kingdom, blessed are the poor in spirit. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Through a tree Adam became an exile from paradise, but through a tree the cross of the thief made paradise his home. For the former, through tasting, set aside his maker's commandment, while tasting the latter, crucified with him, confess the hidden God. Remember us in your kingdom. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. 
The lawless brought the maker of the law from a disciple, and a lawbreaker stood before him in Pilate's judgment seat, crying cruelty to the one who gave them manna in the desert, while we imitating the just thief cry in faith, Remember us, O Savior, in your kingdom. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. A swarm of those who slew God, the lawless nation of the Jews, in their frenzy cried to Pilate, Crucify Christ the innocent. They rather asked for Barabbas, but we address him in the words of the grateful thief, Remember us, O Savior, in your kingdom. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Your life-bearing side gushing like the spring in Eden gives us strength to your church, O Christ God. As a spiritual paradise there divided into the heads into the Gospels, it watered the world, making a creation glad and faithfully teaching nations to worship you in your kingdom. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. You are crucified for my sake, that you may be a source of forgiveness. You were pierced on a side, that you might gush forth streams of life. Then you were transfixed by nails, that I assured the height of the power in your depths of suffering cry. Christ, giver of life, glory to your cross, O Savior, glory to your passion. Blessed are they that are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. You were crucified, O Christ, all nations saw you tremble, and the foundations of the earth quaked with fear at your mind. The lamps of heaven hid themselves with the veils of the temple were rent. The mountains quailed and the rocks were split, and the unfaithful thief cried to you, O Savior, remember. Blessed are you when they shall revile you and persecute you, and speak all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. On the cross, Lord, you tore up our record and numbered us among the dead. You bound the tyrant there, delivered from the bond of death in your resurrection. Though we were enlightened, O Lord, who love humankind, we cry out to you, remember us, O Savior, in your kingdom. Re rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. Lifting us on the cross, destroying the power of death as God, wiping out the record against us, O Lord, only lover of humankind, Grant the repentance of the thief who also worshipped you in faith, O Christ our God. We cry out to you, remember us also, Savior, in your kingdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let us, believers, pray with one accord and glorify worthily the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit the high unity of the Godhead existing in three persons, remaining without confusion, simple and undivided and unapproachable, through whom we delivered the fire eternal punishment, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Christ, your mother, who bore you in the flesh without seed, was truly virgin and remained inviolable, Inviolable after childbirth, we bring the intercession, most merciful Master, to grant pardon of offense and those who cry to you. Remember us also, Savior, in your kingdom. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. 
Lord have mercy. Calling to remember into most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious city, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our God. To you, our Lord. For all the powers of heaven praise you. And to you they ascribe glory to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of age. Amen. The Prochemian in the fourth tone, they parted my garments among them and cast lots for my clothing. They parted my garments among them and cast lots for my clothing. God, my God, attend to me. Why have you forsaken me? They parted my garments among them and cast lots for my clothing. They parted my garments among them and cast lots for my clothing. God, attend to me, why have you forsaken me? They parted my garments among them and cast lots for my clothing. They parted my garments among them and cast lots for my clothing. They parted my garments among them and cast lots for my clothing. They parted my garments among them and cast lots for my clothing. And that he would count us worthy to listen to the Holy Gospel let us pray to the Lord God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom stand aright, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And to your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to the evangelist Matthew. Glory to your passion, O Lord, glory to you. Let us be attentive at that time the soldiers led Jesus to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull, and they offered him wine to drink mingled with gall, but when he tasted it, he would not drink it. And when they had crucified him, they divided his garments among them. At, by casting lots, that what was spoken by the prophet might be fulfilled. They parted my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. Then they cast, sat down and kept watch over him there, and over his head they put the charge against him which read, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Then two robbers were crucified with him, one on the right and one on the left. And those who passed by derided him, wagging their heads and saying, You who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. If you are the Son of God, come down from the cross. So also the chief priests with the scribes and elders mocked him, saying, He saved others, he cannot save himself. If he is the King of Israel, let him come down now from the cross and we will believe in him. He trusts in us, let God deliver him now if he deserves him. For he said, I am the Son of God, and the robbers who were crucified with him also reviled him in the same way. Now from the sixth hour there was darkness over all the land until the ninth hour. And about the ninth hour Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabbathani. That is, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And some of the bystanders hearing it said, This man is calling Elijah. And one of them at once ran and took a sponge, filled it with vinegar and put it on a reed, and gave it to him to drink. But the other said, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come and save him. And Jesus cried again with a loud voice and gave up the spirit. 
And behold, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. And the earth shook, and the rocks were split, and the tombs were opened. And many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. And coming out of the tombs after his resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many. When the centurion and those who were with him, keeping watch over Jesus, saw the earthquake and what took place, they were filled with awe and said, Truly, this was the Son of God. Glory to your long-suffering, Lord. Glory to you. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the multitude of your compassions, blot on my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my iniquity and my sin is continually before me against you, and you only have I sinned and done this evil before you, that you might be justified in your words and prevail when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquity, and in sin did my mother bear me. For behold, you love truth, hidden in secret things of your wisdom you have made clear to me. You will sprinkle me with his sop, and I will be made clean. You will wash me, and I will be made whiter than snow. You will make me hear joy and gladness, the bones that have been humbled will rejoice. Turn your face away from my sins, blot up my iniquity. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of your salvation, and with your governing spirit establish me. I will teach transgressors your ways, the ungodly will turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, God of my salvation. My tongue will rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you will open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. If you had desired sacrifice, I would have given it. With whole burnt offerings, you will not be pleased. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit. A heart that is broken and humbled, God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure and desire, let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you'll be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. And they will offer bullocks upon your altar. And that he would count us worthy to listen to the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom, stand right, let us listen to the Holy Gospel, peace be unto all. And to your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to the Evangelist Luke. Glory to your passion, Lord. Glory to you. Let us be attentive at that time to others also who were criminals were led away to be put to death with Jesus. And when they came to the place which is called the skull, there they crucified him. And the criminals, one on the right and one on the left, and Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they cast lots to divide his garments. And the people who stood by watching and the ruler scoffed at him, saying, He saved others, let him save himself, if he is the Christ, the chosen of God. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him vinegar and saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him in letters of Greek and Latin and Hebrew. This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who were hanged railed at him, saying, If you are the Christ, save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed justly. For we are receiving the due reward of our deeds, but this man has done nothing wrong. And he said to Jesus, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said to him, Truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. It was now about the sixth hour, and there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour, while the sun's light failed, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. 
Then Jesus, crying with a loud voice, said, Father, into thy hands I commit my spirit. And having said this, he gave up the spirit. Now when the centurion saw what had taken place, he glorified God and said, Certainly this was a righteous man. And all the multitudes who assembled to see the sight, when they saw what had taken place, returned beating their breasts, and all his acquaintances and the women who followed him from Galilee stood at a distance and saw these things. Glory to your long-suffering, Lord. Glory to you. I rise for you at dawn, who through compassion without change emptied himself with the one who had fallen, and impassively bowed yourself to the passion, O word of God. Grant me peace, O lover of humankind. Glory to the fall, glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. I rise for you at dawn, who, who without compassion and change empty yourself for the one who had fallen, and impassively bowed yourself to a passion, O word of God. Grant me peace, O lover of humankind. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. With their feet they have washed and have been cleansed by participation of the divine mystery, O Christ. By your servants who are sown the Sion of Mount Olives. Sing your praises, O lover of humankind. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. See, my, my friends, you said, do not be afraid. For now the hour is near that I will be taken and slain by the hands of the transgressors. While we were scattered and leave me, whom shall I gather to proclaim me? The, the lover of humankind. I rise for you at dawn. Through your compassion without change emptied yourself for the one who had fallen, and impassively bowed yourself to the passion, O word of God, grant me peace, O lover of humankind. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy, and us and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. All in your memory, the most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious city, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For, to, for you are the King of peace and the Savior of our souls, and to you we say, give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of age. Of. Amen. Come, let us all praise him who was crucified for us. For Mary looked upon him on the tree and said, Though you enter the cross, you are thus my son and my God. For she saw her own lamb being dragged to the slaughter, Mary, 
the ewe lamb born without grief. Followed the other women, crying out, Why, where are you going, my child? For whose sake are you completing the course so fast? In there once again was another wedding in Cana. Are you hurried now to take wine from the water? Should I go with you, my child, or rather wait for you? Give me a word, a word. Do not pass me by in silence who kept me pure, my son and my God. O holy and great Friday, we remember the holy, saving, and dread, dread sufferings of our Lord and God, Savior, Jesus Christ, the spittings, the blows, the buttlings, the outrages, the mockings, the purple cloak, the reed, the sponge, the vinegar, the nails, the lance, and above all, the cross and death, which he accepted willingly for our sake, and also the saving confession of the cross of the good thief, crucified with him. You are the living God, slain on a tree, O naked corpse, and word of the living God. Eden's locked gate in the thief, opened wide, putting in the key, Remember me in your ineffable good compassion, O Christ God, have mercy on us. Amen. The godly youth made spectacle the mountain of a godly evil. While Sanhedrin, the lawless rage, took vain counsel against Christ, though we slay the one who holds life in his palm, whom all creation blesses and glorifies to the ages. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. Now shake sleep from your eyelids, my disciples. You said, Christ, watch with prayer, lest you slip into temptation. Especially you, Simon, for the mighty comes with greater temptation. Know me, Peter, of whom all creation blesses and glorifies through the ages. I will never utter profane word from my lips, Master. I will die with you gladly. Who would deny you, cried Peter, neither flesh nor blood nor the Father if he yield you to me. Whom creation blesses and glorifies to the ages. For you have not searched out the whole depth of divine wisdom and knowledge. You have not, my friend, grasped the abyss of my judgment. Said the Lord, being flesh, then do not boast. For there were three times deny me who creation blesses and glorifies to the ages. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. You protest, Simon Peter, against what would speedily be persuaded to you. As it was foretold by a maid servant, suddenly approach will frighten you. Weeping bitterly will nevertheless find me merciful. Whom all creation blesses and glorifies to the ages. We praise, bless, and worship the Lord. Praise and exalt him to the ages. The godly youth made spectacle the moment of the ungodly evil, while Senad in the lawless rage and took vain counsel against Christ, who to slay the one who holds life in his palm, whom all creation blesses and glorifies to the ages. Mm-hmm.
Great is the honor of the cherubim beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. Without corruption gave birth to God the Word. Truly the Mother of God we magnify you. Glory to the Father, glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. A destructive band and a wicked man, hateful to God, an assembly of slayers of God come upon you, O Christ, and dragged away as a malefactor of you, the creator of all things whom we magnify. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. The impious, ignorant, both the law and the voices of the prophets, meditating vain things, unjustly dragged away to the slaughter by a sheep, the master of all things whom we magnify. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. The priests with other scribes, wounded by envious malice, handed over the nations to be done away with him, the one who by nature is life, the giver of life whom we magnify. Glory to you, Lord, glory to you. They surrounded you as like many dogs, sovereign lady. They struck your cheek with a blow, they questioned you. They bore false witness against you and you endured all things, saved us all. Mm -hmm. Greater in honor than the cherubim, beyond compare than the seraphim, without corruption he gave birth to God the Word. Truly the mother of all, we magnify you. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, to you, O Lord, or all the powers of heaven praise you. And to you we give glory to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever and under the ages of age. Amen. Lord, who at the very day made the thief worthy of paradise, so by the tree of the cross enlighten and save me. O Lord, who on the very day made the thief worthy of paradise, by, so by the tree of the cross enlighten and save me. Lord, who on the very day made the thief worthy of paradise, so by the tree of the cross Enlighten and save me. And that he would count us worthy to listen to the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom stand aright, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And to your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to the Evangelist John. Glory to your passion, Lord. Glory to you. Let us be attentive at that time, standing by the cross of Jesus, were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Cleopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple, whom... He loved standing near. He said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her in, took her to his home. After this, Jesus, knowing that all was now finished, said, To fulfill the scripture, I thirst. I, a bowl of vinegar stood there. So they put a sponge full of vinegar on hyssop and held it to his mouth. When Jesus had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the spirit. 
Since it was the day of preparation in order to prevent the bodies from remaining on the cross on the Sabbath, for that Sabbath was a high day, the Jews asked Pilate that their legs might be broken and that they might be taken away. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and of the other who had been crucified with him. But when they came to Jesus, and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs, but one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear, and at once there came out blood and water. He who saw it has bore witness, and his testimony is true, and he knows that he tells the truth, that you may also believe. For these things took place, at, pl took place that the scripture might be fulfilled. Not a bone of him shall be broken, and again another scripture says, They shall look upon him whom they have pierced. Glory to your long-suffering Lord. Glory to you. Let every breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the highest. To you, God, is to our song. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his hosts. To you, God, is to our song. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you stars of light. Praise him, heaven of heavens, and water above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he spoke and they came to be. He commanded and they were created. He established them forever and the forever and ever. Set an ordinance which they shall never pass away. Pa praise the Lord from the earth, you dragons of all abysses, fire, hail, snow and ice, blessed of tempests that perform his word. The mountains and the hills, fruitful trees and all cedars, the beasts of the, and the cattle, creeping things and winged beasts, kings of the earth and all people, Princes and of all judges, young men and virgins, elders and younger, let them praise the name of the Lord. For his name alone is exalted, thanksgiving to him on the earth and in heaven. He shall exalt the horn of his people, and the hymn of his saints, the sons of Israel, for the people who approach him. Sing to the Lord a new song, sing his praises in congregation of the saints. Let Israel be glad in him who made him. Let them be a son of Zion, exalt in their king. Let them praise his name in dance. In the timbrel and the psaltery, they will sing to him. And the Lord takes pleasure in his people, and he shall exalt the meek with salvation. The saints shall boast in glory and shall rejoice upon their beds. The exaltations of God shall be on their throat and their hands shall be two-edged swords. Do the venerants among all nations and reproofs upon the people to bind their kings with fetters and their nobles with iron manacles to do in them their written judgment. The glory shall be to all his saints. Praise God and all his saints. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him in the mighty acts. Praise him in proportion to the magnitude of his greatness. Israel, my firstborn son, has done two wicked things. He has abandoned me, the source and water of life, and dug for himself a broken well. He has crucified me on a tree and asked Barabbas, and they released him. Heaven was amazed, and this in the sun hid its rays. While you, Israel, felt no shame, but handed me over to death. Forgive them, Holy Father, for they do not know what they have done. Praise him with the sound of trumpet, praise him with the psaltery and the harp. Israel, my firstborn son, has done two wicked things. He has abandoned me, source and water of life. He has crucified me on a tree, and asked for Barabbas, and they released him. Heaven was a maiden, this the sun hid its rays. 
While you, Israel, felt no shame but handed me over to death, forgive them, Holy Father, for they do not know what they have done. Each member of the holy flesh endured dishonor for our sake. Your head the thorns, your face with spittings, your cheek the blows, your mouth the taste of gall mixed with vinegar, your ears the impious blasphemies, your back the scourge of your hand on the reed, your body with the stretching on the cross, your joints the nails of your side with the lance. You suffered for our sake and freed us from the passions. You stooped down for us in your love for mankind and raised us up. All-powerful Savior, have mercy on us. Praise him with tuneful symbols. Praise him with symbols of jubilation. Let it every breath praise the Lord. For you saw the crucified, O Christ, all creation trembled. The mountains of the earth quaked with fear at your might. For when you are lifted up to today, the Hebrew race perish. The veil of the temple was rent apart. The graves were opened and the dead arose from the tomb. The centurion, seeing the marble, was afraid. While your mother, standing by, cry out to you, lamenting as a mother, how should I not lament and beat my breast? As I see you naked as one condemned, hanging on a tree, crucified, buried, and risen from the dead, Lord, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. They stripped me of my garments, they clothed me a scarlet cloak, oh, they placed a crown of thorn upon my head, and put a reed into my right hand that I might not splash them like a potter's vessels, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. They gave my back to scourgings, while I did not turn my face away from spittings. I stood at Pilate's judgment seat and endured the cross for the salvation of the world. And that he would count us worthy to listen to the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Wisdom, stand aright, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And to your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to the Evangelist Mark. Glory to your passion, O Lord, glory to you. Let us be attentive at that time. Joseph of Arimathea, a respected member of the council, who was also himself looking for the kingdom of God, took courage and went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. And Pilate wondered if he were already dead and summoning the centurion, he asked him whether Jesus was already dead. And when he learned from the centurion that Jesus was dead, he granted the body to Joseph and he brought, bought a linen shroud and taking Jesus down, wrapped him in the linen shroud and laid him in a tomb which had been hewn out of the rock. And he rolled a stone against the door of the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Josie, saw where Jesus was laid. Glory to your long-suffering, Lord. Glory to you. To you, glory is to you, O Lord our God, and to you we give glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen.
Glory to you who has shown us the light. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace, good will among men. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you. We glorify you, we give thanks to you, our great glory. O Lord, heavenly King, God the Father, ruler over all. Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son and the Father, and who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, accept our supplication. You who sits at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are holy, you alone are Lord, Jesus Christ, to the glory of the Father. Amen. Every day I will bless you, and your name I will praise to the ages forever and ever. Lord, we have your refuge from generation to generation. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. Lord, I have fled to you. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. For with you there is a fountain of life, and your light we shall see light. Continue your mercy for those who know you. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. Blessed are you, Lord God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name forever. Amen. Let your mercy, O Lord, be upon us as we have set our hope in you. Blessed are you, O Lord God, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Master, give me understanding of your statutes. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your statutes. O Lord, your mercy endures forever, disdain not the work of your hands. To you is due praise, to you is due a song, to you is due glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Let this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, and guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Forgiveness, remission of our sins and transgressions. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. All that is going to benefit for our souls and peace for the world. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace, repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. A Christian into our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, good defense before the judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Grant this, O Lord. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are God of mercy and compassion and love for mankind, and unto we send up glory to the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Meros in peace be unto all. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To you, o Lord. Holy Lord, you dwell on high and behold the humble, and you have, and with your all seeing eye you gaze upon all creation. Before you we have bowed the neck of our soul and body, and we pray you, holy of holy, stretch forth your invisible hand from your holy dwelling place and bless all of us in the manner we have sinned whether voluntary or involuntary pardon us for you are a good God who loves mankind granting us your good things both earthly and heavenly for yours it is to have mercy in, on us and save us our God unto you we have sent up glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and ever unto the ages of age Amen and that ye would count us worthy to listen to the Holy Gospel. Let us pray to the Lord God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom. <clears throat> let us be attend, stand right, let us listen to the Holy Gospel, peace, 
be to all. And to your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to the Evangelist John. Glory to your passion, Lord. Glory to you. Uh, let us be attentive at that time. Joseph of Arimathea, who was a disciple of Jesus, but secretly for fear of the Jews, asked Pilate, that he might take away the body of Jesus, and Pilate gave him leave. So he came and took away Jesus' body. Nicodemus also, who had at first come to Jesus by night, came bringing a mixture of myrrh and aloes, about a hundred pounds weight. They took the body of Jesus and bound him in linen cloths with the spices, as, uh, as is the ritual custom of the Jews. Now in the place where he was crucified, there was a garden, and in the garden a new tomb, where no one had ever been laid. So because of the Jewish day of preparation, as the tomb was closed at, close at hand, they laid Jesus there. Glory to your long-suffering, Lord, glory to you. All of creation was changed by fear when it saw you hanging on the cross, O Christ. The sun was darkened and the foundations of the earth were shaken. All things were suffering with you, the creator of them all. You endured this willingly for us, Lord, glory to you. They parted my garments among them and cast lots for my clothing. Impious and lawless people, why do you meditate vain things? Why have you condemned the life of all to death? O great marvel, the creator of the world who loves humankind, is betrayed into the hands of transgressors and lifted up on a tree, that he may free the prisoners in hell. Long suffering, Lord, glory to you. They gave me gall for food, in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Today the blameless virgin, when she saw you hanging on a cross, with the mother's love lamented, bitterly wounded in her heart, groaning in lamentation from the depth of her soul. She struck her cheek and tore her hair, so bleeding her breast she cried out with grief, Woe is me, my divine child! Woe is me, light of the world, why have you left my sight, Lamb of God? Therefore the armies of the bloodless powers were seized with terror, and they said, Lord, be on understanding, glory to you. God is our King, he has brought salvation in the midst of the earth. When she saw you, O Christ, the Creator and God of all, Hanging on the cross, she who bore you without seat cried bitterly, My son, who has the beauty of your form depleted, I cannot bear to see you unjustly crucified. Hasten, then arise, that I too may see a resurrection from the dead on the third day. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, when you ascended the cross, fear and trembling fell on creation. You prevented the earth from swallowing those who crucified you. While you ordered hell to send back its prisoners for the rebirth of mortals, judge of the living and the dead, you came to grant life and not death. Lover of mankind, glory to you both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Already the pen of sentence is being dipped into the ink by unjust judges, and Jesus is being convicted and condemned to the cross. And creation, seeing its Lord on the cross, is suffering. But loving God who came, who for me suffer your bodily nature, Glory to you. Already
already the pen of Satan's is being dipped in ink by unjust judges. And Jesus is being convicted and condemned to the cross. And creation seeing as Lord on the cross is suffering. But loving Lord, who for me suffer your body and nature, glory to you. And that he would count us worthy to listen to the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom stand and right, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And to your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to the evangelist Matthew. Glory to your passion, Lord. Glory to you. Let us be attentive on that day. That is, after the day of preparation, the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered before Pilate and said, Sir, we remember how that impostor said while he was still alive, After three days I will rise again. Therefore, order the sepulchre to be made secure until the third day. Least his disciples go and steal him away and tell the people he has risen from the dead. And the last fraud will be worse than the first. Pilate said to them, You have a guard of soldiers. Go make it as secure as you can. So they went and made the sepulchre secure by sealing the stone and setting a guard. Glory to your long-suffering, Lord. Glory to you. How good it is to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your love in the morning and your truth by night. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins, master pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit us and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of age. Amen. By your precious blood you have redeemed us from the curse of the law. Nailed to the cross and pierced by a lance, you have become a source of immortality for all. Our Savior, glory to you. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great loving kindness, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for his grace, our Bishop Aletion, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our God, loving and God, protected country, Canada's government, armed forces, and for all our pious people. That the Lord God will help them in all things and protect them from every enemy and adversary. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever member Orthodox patriarchs, for the founders of this holy temple, and for all Orthodox Christians, the part of this life before us who hear and everywhere lie asleep in the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, God's visitation 
and the forgiveness or remission of sins for the servants of God, the parishioners of this holy temple. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy, all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing. For all the people who are present to await your great and abundant mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For you, merciful God and lover of mankind, into you we send up glory to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of age. Amen. Wisdom. Father, give the blessing. Blessed is the one who is Christ our God always, now and ever, and unto the ages of age. Amen. Make firm, O God, the holy Orthodox faith and all Orthodox Christians unto the ages of ages. Amen. Most holy Theotokos, save us. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption you gave birth to God the Word. Through Theotokos we magnify you. Glory to you, Christ our God, our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Father, bless. May he who endured spitting, scourging, blows of the cross and the death for the salvation of the world, Christ, our true God, through the prayers of his most pure mother, of the all-powerful power of the precious and life-giving cross, through the intercessions of the holy glories and all-praised apostles, of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us for his good, and the lover of mankind. Amen. Slava Jesus Christ, glory be to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. I thank you for joining us this evening for this, uh, for the, the matins uh, service and the reading of the 12 Passion Gospels of our Lord. A reminder that tomorrow, uh, I believe, I, if I'm remembering correctly, 7.30, we have the uh, Vesper service for um, the carrying of the shroud. Um, uh, uh, following that service, we will uh, be changing the linens from the purple to the white. Um, this will, it shouldn't take very long, as uh, uh, yeah, we, if we have many hands, so if you are able to, um, I invite you and, and welcome you to assist us in, in doing so. Um, I will be, of course, beginning my the tomorrow services in Kelowna at one, and then traveling all the way through to the end uh, here tomorrow night. Um, a reminder um, as well that uh, if you wish, if you are tra wishing to travel through the weekend to participate in as many services as possible. The Saturday Divine Liturgy, Vesper Liturgy in uh, or Kelowna is at uh, 10 a.m. And then the, Divine, the Paschal Matins um, in Vernon is at 5 p.m. And then the Divine Liturgy, of course, the Nocturnes, Paschal Matins, and Divine Liturgy will begin here on Sunday at 10 o'clock, or at uh, 6 o'clock a.m. So we should be done in between 10 and 11 so we can have our Paschal breakfast. Perfect timing. Um, so um, I, uh, I encourage you, I welcome you to uh, participate in, in as much as you can this weekend and, uh, and to join us. I know Cyprian's going around and taking the candles. I see Svetlana has kept hers. And I think I, I'll, I'll, it'll, th there'll be a reason why. Traditionally, we keep the candles that we have uh, used during the service, we take them home. We try to t keep them lit if possible, if it's practical. And when you get home, you mark the doorways of your home with the, the candle, with the, with the flame. You, not, not scorching it, but just marking it lightly. Um, and 
representing Christ and protecting your home and, and, and it's the, one of these traditions that we, we have as a Slavic tradition. So if you do wish to, you can grab your candle and take it home. If you, if you do, it's not practical, I know, for, for maybe you driving north, you know, you can relight it when you get home and, and, and mark your, your doorways with it if you wish to uh, at that time just for the safety of driving and everything. But uh, um, if you wish to, the, you can take, your ca take a candle uh, from tonight and, and take it home with you to do that. Um, with that, I pray that you continue to have a blessed evening, um, and I look forward to our continued uh, prayers over this weekend of Holy Pascha and the great glory on, on Sunday. I'm going to announce this on Sunday, but I'm going to say it's now uh, before I forget for those who are here on Sunday when I say Christ is risen no matter what language I say it in because I'm going to say it in a few different languages and you won't know them respond in the language you know don't sit silent respond because the whole point is to respond to acknowledge that Christ is resurrected and then give that response. Indeed, he is risen. So please, uh, I will be doing many languages as I do every year. Please respond in, in the one you know um, if you aren't, if you don't know the, the language which I'm responding in. You know, the, the reason why I do different languages is because so that everybody, there, you, you don't know who might show up. And it's nice to give some different languages and show that orthodoxy is not isolated to one group but is, o is encompassing and, and out into the whole world uh, of course. So with that I again pray you have a blessed evening and I look forward to our continued prayers uh, over the weekend. Christ is in our midst. Yes.